<laughs> what are we doing, Corey? We're going to make a recipe eyeballing the measurements. Like we don't get cup measures? No. Nope. Teaspoon measures? No. Nope. Anything? No. Nope. Wow. Oh, just no measuring spoons? Yeah. Great. Can I use the muffin tin? So I can't go like this. I have to go. You have to pour it. Out of the bag. You have to go out of the bag and okay. pour it. Okay. Oh, you I just get, don't, the you get the recipe. You're just eyeballing everything. Oh my God. That changes everything. <laughs> wow. Is this one of our recipes? It's like the old time days. Like back in the day, they like a cup was a cup and people's cups were different and then you had to like figure it out. Um, so this is gonna be fun. Are you precise with measurements when you cook? Well, we're baking, much different. It's kind of the one time you do kind of have to be precise with certain things. At home I freestyle, but I spend 40 hours a day measuring things on a scale. 40 hours a day? A week. <laughs> the last time I baked something was maybe like five years ago. I, <laughs> I do not bake ever. Okay, so I used to have a job where I had to measure, I had to weigh out cheese for cheese plates at a restaurant and you had to measure out like one ounce portions of each cheese. And there was like a, a soft, a semi-soft, and a hard. And by the end of it, I could weigh that to the gram, essentially, uh, without the use of anything. So let's hope that serves me in some way today. All right, so today we're gonna make some cornbread muffins with maple butter. First and foremost, I don't like cornbread. Skip with the maple butter. We can do that after we throw these in the oven, which I'm assuming we're gonna do. Preheat the oven at 375. We gotta guess that too, like put my hand in there or something. My oven is preheated to 375. Is the oven already on? C. Very important to read the whole recipe before you start cooking, not only when you are being challenged to do so. Yeah, so I'm just gonna eyeball this together here. Uh, I'm thinking I'm gonna use the uh, the muffin tin just as like a good rough indicator. To not cheating. Smart I'm use. using the tools that were given to me. The dry ingredients, so it's one cup of yellow cornmeal. Sift cornmeal. Need a sifter. Okay. What, uh, here we go. <clears throat> I hate this shit. All right, so I need a cup. So, one thing I'm terrible at is spatial relationships and volumes. Huh. I have no idea how much this actually weighs, but it looks pretty close to a cup. Probably, like one cup. I'm going to say this looks like about a quarter cup, so I am gonna use four of these. I think these are each half a cup, so I think that's about one cup. I, I care more about the ratios of things. Like I care more about the ratio of dry to liquid than I do about like measuring to a cup. That works. I like this. Okay, flour. Oh, one cup. <laughs> this is great. This is how we should do it all. Okay, equal parts formula and flour. And a quarter cup of this. <laughs> I'm just on the vaudeville thing now, so. So what is a quarter cup of sugar? Uh, this kind of looks like a quarter cup, so we're gonna go with that. This is salt. Oh my God. Quarter cup, eh. Put that little landing zone right there. Little quarter cup. Uh, yeah, oh, right there. A tablespoon of baking powder, I think I can figure out. We're just going to guess. Tablespoon. Maybe, should I do the hand? One, two, and a half. One tablespoon added. Quarter teaspoon salt. So I'm just gonna do one little pinch. Salt. Bam. This I don't care as much about, and it should just taste good. And that's all our dry stuff. Whisking dry ingredients actually takes longer than you think. This is a common thing people mess up, but give it a minute. Here, first we'll do the mixo, and then we'll do the sift up. Mm -hmm. So now sifting. Oh. Ah! Don't really want to sift these, because I don't, you know, if they're not going to be perfect, they're not going to be perfect. 
There you go. Look at that. So I'm going to put that off to the side, and we're going to do wet ingredients. All right, so I've got one egg. Egg. Buttermilk, one cup. OK. Cup of buttermilk. Oh, was this shake, shooken, shaken? You have to shake buttermilk? You know there's measurements on the side of the buttermilk. Bottle. <laughs> Literally has a cup measure on the side. I don't know if anyone spotted that yet. Oh, yeah, I mean, this is great if you find yourself camping and you want to make muffins and you only have a muffin tin. No, I mean. For baked goods, I tend not to eyeball because, you know, why invite failure, you know? So I'm just going to, oh, wait a minute. I didn't mix. Do I need to? Yeah. Well, it's already so we're just going to keep going. All right, those are supposed to get whisked in another bowl. That's what happens when you don't read a recipe and you're not used to reading a recipe. So this is just going to all get whisked together right now. Whisk in melted butter, all right. All right, so we want five tablespoons here. Oh, five tablespoons of butter. I was ready to dump that whole thing right in. It's kind of unmelted. Could I zap it? Oh, too far. <laughs> no. Oh, Claire just cleaned the microwave. <laughs> She's going to be so upset. <laughs> OK, and now we're ready to combine ingredients. I'm going to do it slowly, just not to clump it. OK, just to incorporate. Do not over mix. That's the single most important thing to keeping a muffin tender and not tough. Tough little muffins. <laughs> Had a tough life. <laughs> they came out tough later. Here, let me hold this for you. Hold it. When, whoa! Easy. <laughs> I'm not wearing an apron. When's the last time you baked something? I don't know. Years. You're never. Not you never. never. Yes, I've, I've baked things, but like not. Ow! Sorry. Oh, this is dry. My gut tells me that this needs more liquid. If it looks a little dry, then add a little more wet. Seems a little loose, but the hell do I know? Oh, don't overmix. I would chill with whatever you're doing right now. I mean, basically, you can eye boil a baking dish that you've done a million times, so you kind of have like a rough idea of how it looks like. I think this is muffin consistency. I don't make a lot of muffins at home, TBH. How far out off am I? And I would just go for it now. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Things are going to be great. All right. Molly, they're not going to be great. I'm going to put this in the oven and pray. Oh, here we go. And how many are we supposed to make here? I'm just hoping that we reach 12. I might run out of batter. I don't know if I have enough. The batter does seem a little bit scant. We're not going to reach 12. <laughs> going to make it work. I know like one or two I could definitely pull, pull something out of. We're going to have to rob Peter to pay Paul a little, I think. We're going to steal. I'm looking like, I think, probably a little empty here. I don't think I ever make muffins in my life. I read the recipe a little bit more in detail, and it says that one muffin cup is a third of a cup. So I am totally off. Ugh. Yeah, this isn't going to be good. Yeah, this might not work out, boys and girls. Just give them a leg up. They're going to be a funny shape. I'm not fixing the divot that I took out of each of them for no apparent reason, except I am lazy, salt. You know what? I'm going to disregard that last step. Two empty cups. OK, I'm going to pop them in the oven. I guess. My masterpiece, don't look at this one. So start your timers, 15 minutes. <laughs> and bang those down, all right? Why do you bang them down? I don't know. Timer. Hey Siri, set timer for 15 minutes. Muffins will be pale. <laughs> we'll see about that. Cool on racks for 10 minutes, great. Serve with maple butter. All right, let's do that. OK, maple butter, 3 quarters of a cup, one and a half sticks, unsalted butter, room temperature. One and a half sticks of butter. I got this one. It's like you have to wonder about a recipe that's calling for that much butter, that much maple syrup, calling for unsalted butter, but no salt. I just like, you know. I would put some salt in there. Sweet and salty. It's going to taste better. 
So we'll start with small. We'll start with the winning three and a half. We'll start with the half. So I'm going to eyeball it using this. Oh, but I need to have it. This is not easy. I don't really think this syrup measurement matters all that much in terms of precision. Slow little drizzle. God, I love maple syrup. It's so good. If I had flaky salt, I would add it. Pretty good. Mapley. Great. All right, that looks very nice. I love a corn muffin. Yeah, utterly adore them. The butter might be fine, but the muffins, rest in peace. All right, cool. So it's been 15 minutes. We're going to go see how these little muffins turned out. Ah, OK. Ay, que lindos. OK. They look OK. OK, not bad. We got, a, we got two weird ones. Look at those. I'm not making anyone proud with these. They're very even. So like, great job, May. That guy's a little small. These muffins are um, not very cute, but whatever, we're moving on. Ay, que cosa más linda. Is this what are we looking for? I don't know yet. They look kind of... Squat? There wasn't a lot of batter in it. Oh. We had to pull... What's the matter? I'm hungry. Well, don't start here, bud. Okay, so if this is our best-looking muffin, we know we're in trouble. They're brown on the undersides. That's good. It has a really nice crumb, super fluffy. I think in terms of the like integrity of the muffin and the ratios of things, like this looks pretty correct to me. What do I know? They have a nice little like press on the bottom. They're not as tender as I would like. Wow, look at that crumb. Look at that light texture. Mine were better. Wait. No, 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 wait, wait, wait. Mm. That's actually pretty good. A little sweet. Pretty good. Good to pretty good? I can live with that. Thank you, you guys can eat them. Bon appetit. Okay, my final thought is that this is a properly baked muffin that sucks. That is NFD, I'm sorry. That's just as good as Brad's, maybe even better. Um, yeah, there you go. There's a half a muffin. There's butter. Bon appetit. <laughs> <laughs> Shut it down. Shut it down. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>